G'day guys, I'm Ragnarok. Welcome to my 2021 add-on guide. I'll go over what add-ons are and why they're important. I'll then show you how to install them and I'll mention a few key add-ons you should start with. What are add-ons? Add-ons are interface mods which change the way our default user interface works. Most players use these to help them see data the default interface can't provide, like a damage meter for example. Add-ons can range from timers, to notifications, to automation, and much more. There are two ways you can install add-ons. You can install them manually or automatically via an app called CurseForge. We no longer use Twitch to install add-ons, as they've stopped supporting it. However, you can use CurseForge, which works just as well. First, I'll show you the easy way to install add-ons. Click the link in the description to download CurseForge. Once installed, you should see the home screen of the app where it asks you to choose a game. Choose World of Warcraft. It should automatically detect it if you've installed WoW in the default directory. Otherwise, you'll need to specify the game's directory location. You can select other versions of WoW like Classic in the top right drop down menu. Once it's found the game, you'll see your installed add ons. This will be blank if you have no add ons installed. To install an add on, click Get More Add ons. Then click in the search for add-ons window. Here is where you can search for almost every add-on. Let's install my favourite add-on, Leetrix Plus. We type in Leetrix Plus and hit enter. You'll sometimes get more than one result, but it's usually the one with the most downloads. We select Leetrix Plus Shadowlands. You'll see an overview page open. Here you can read about the add-on's features and how to use it. Make sure your WoW client is closed and then click install. It'll then automatically download and install the add-on into your WoW interface folder. Once you load the game, the add-on will be there and ready to go. We can also update add-ons if the add-on has an update. So now let's load up the game and see if Leetrix Plus is there. We can check this on the character selection screen at the bottom left corner. There should now be an add-ons button there. If it's not there, try selecting a different version of WoW in CurseForge in the top right drop down menu. Click the Add-ons button and it'll load the add-on menu. Here you can see what add-ons you have installed. You can enable, disable and even load outdated add-ons here. If you've installed Leetrix Plus successfully, you'll see it in this menu. So how do we use this add-on? We can find out by checking the overview page in CurseForge, but to save time I'll just show you for this add-on. We load into a character and then we type slash LTP. The Leetrix Plus window will load up and we can now use the add-on. Leetrix Plus gives us more access to interface options like automation, so we can automate quest accepts and hand-ins, as well as sell junk and repair. We can change the font sizes of text, enable and disable parts of our interface, and even change the weather density. You can even select your favourite zone's music and play that wherever you are in the world. It's a great little add-on and easy to use so I thought this would be a good one for most of you to get started with. Two other add-ons I'll mention briefly that you may find useful are Details Damage Meter and Deadly Boss Mods. Details is a damage meter, this is how most players will track their group's performance in dungeons and raids. Having this add-on can help you improve and shows how you compare to other players. Deadly Boss Mods guides you through boss fights, it shows timers of boss mechanics and notifies you when to watch out for certain things a boss will do. It can make boss mechanics a bit easier to pay attention to as well. Some add-ons won't be available on CurseForge and may need to be installed manually. You'll download a zip of the add-on from the add-on's website and you'll need to extract its contents into your add-on's folder. Make sure you scan these files with a virus scanner before installing as sometimes these add-ons can be malicious. Your add-ons folder is located under your World of Warcraft directory under interface in add-ons. Extract the add-on folder into here. You'll also see your other add-ons installed via CurseForge here. You'll need to manually update these add-ons as CurseForge will only update its supported ones. To uninstall an add-on, you can right-click it in CurseForge under My Add-ons and click Delete. Or you can delete the add-on in the interface folder. And that's all there is to it guys. I hope you now know how to install add-ons. If this guide helped you, please leave a like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment or question. Thanks for watching, this is Ragnarok, and I'll see you next time.